G'day mates, how's it going? My name's AJ and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. In this episode, we are going to continue the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep story by choosing the next character in line, which is Ventus. Now, Ventus is a bit different. An outgoing and inquisitive boy who holds his keyblade in backhand. Quick attacks are his forte. Uh, and it even says here that terror relies on brute force, which we found out during his playthrough. Uh, he's quick and... Uh, Aqua herself is nimble and a gifted mage, so this is going to be the fast attacking one, this young lad here. And quite honestly, he is quite fun to play because he is the only Keyblade Warder I've ever seen that holds his Keyblade the way he does. So, we're going to play as Ventus. Let's go. Nice stance. Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. on the exam. But Ven, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He can take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, Ven. Here we go. Ventus is the um, point of view from this fight. So there are some fights that will be replicated in each story, obviously. Oh, 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 oh. So yeah, obviously Ven's um, a little different, but... Uh, Come on, attain the money. Whoa. Come on, Ventus. I'm gonna find out what mode I'm doing, because that seemed a little too easy again. Maximum HP increase and learned fever pitch. Don't even know what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test. One I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin!
We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Terra, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from? What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's gotta break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. see Terra again. What? Get real. I can see Terra anytime I want. Like right now? He's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, he'll be a different person. Look, whoever you are, you don't know the first thing about Terra. Me and him will always be a team. You trying to pick a fight or what? Oh, grow up. Is that what you call friendship? You'll never know the truth unless you go out and look for it yourself. Come on, what could you possibly know when you're stuck here, looking at nothing but what's in your tiny world? It's okay.
Forge the D-Link with Aqua. And the D-Links again. And D-Link with Terra. Xehanort's letter. And with that, we have officially begun Ventus' story mode. So, there is a few things that we're going to cover in the coming videos, obviously. The usual stuff, worlds and whatnot. So we've got one world available to us, which is Dwarf Woodlands. If you remember correctly, the first world Terra went to was this one, Enchanted Domain, and then Castle of Dreams, and then Dwarf Woodlands. So we're going in a different order. Uh, if we fly around, you can see that none of the other worlds are visible just yet. And now to quickly check something, because I've got a bad feeling about this. Um, oh, it is on critical mode. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Get over it. I know what to do. Right, so we've got already got scan and all that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my god. Right, did I get anything else? I've got a sliding dash here all ready to go. I'm going to hold on to the other stuff for now. Do I have... I don't want to meld just yet. I have the finish command started. Uh, do I have anything of value? The Wayfinder and the way I can't meld yet anyway because I don't have anything to get abilities with. So yeah. That pretty much does it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Ventus' story. Um, we've already been into it for about half an hour in total. Not this video, this, um, if you count the very first video that was for Birth by Sleep, that's being counted here as well. So in the next video, we will go to the Dwarf Woodlands and begin this playthrough. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and go check out links down below to the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep playlist, as well as all my social medias, and be sure to subscribe, like, and follow. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.